is a primer? A primer is going to be a very short document, round about 10 or 12 pages long, setting out the basics of a particular science or expertise. The hope is that the primer will then be looked at by the judge who's trying the case, the advocates who have to call the evidence, so that they understand what is the non-controversial part of that particular science or expertise, and then move on from there to discuss the issues that particularly appertain to the case in hand. To, to what extent do you see a court being bound by what's in the primer, potentially then taking away the ability of an expert to challenge issues in the primer? I would hope that is what is not going to happen. That's not the idea, even though it's the fear of some people. The whole idea is that the judge will retain the ability to decide what evidence is admissible and what evidence he or she should exclude. The primer will just give the judge the base level of understanding from which to do that. If there's something novel which isn't in the primer, which one expert seeks to advance, it will enable the judge to question that expert to find out whether the expert can go beyond what is the basic scientific level or whether that's bogus and ought to be excluded. So there's a flexibility in the document. Uh, so the document you described in, this, in your speech about being, it being updated, um, how, how do you see that process working? Or is it too early to, to be able to say? There's been no final decision as to how it should happen. But each primer has a committee writing it, mostly um, scientists, but also with the input of lawyers to make sure that it's not written in such scientific language a judge won't understand it. I anticipate that either that committee will stay together and meet at irregular intervals, or will at least be able to be called back into existence when it appears to somebody who understands the science that things have moved on in some way. So it, it sort of will perhaps develop a little bit like case law? Yes, only it's science driven, that's the point of it. It's, it's not going to be lawyers driven, it's scientists telling lawyers how lawyers should approach their science. You described uh, it being rolled out uh, in criminal cases and in family cases and you said minor civil cases. Perhaps I could just ask you about that last category. Do you see it being um, rolled out into larger civil cases later on? Is that the intention? I think the only difficulty with using it in civil cases is that, or in larger civil cases, is that there tends there to be a lot more money available and both sides can afford experts who can not only produce their own reports but who can then spend the time together so that they can agree something which is case specific. The real aim of the primer project that I'm involved in is to produce primers that are available for all cases rather than case specific ones. I see. Bon Solon uh, has just published a survey of experts. Uh, part of uh, that dealt with uh, a feeling by experts that juries didn't understand the evidence they were giving, that juries shouldn't deal with expert testimony. In the context of the primer, what, what do you feel about that conclusion? I think it's a worry that we have to address, but I don't think the way that we address it is to get rid of juries. I think for a start, when you are an expert witness, you're obviously very conscious of the way in which you think your evidence is being received. Whereas at the end of the day, a jury will have to decide the case not just on the expert evidence, but on all of the evidence, so that it assumes a place within the importance of the trial, which is perhaps less than the expert would think it had on occasions. But, but secondly, I think the reason why experts sometimes worry that juries won't be able to follow is because the advocates don't present the expert evidence properly and the judge doesn't deal with it adequately in summing up. The idea of the primer is to prime the judge with the ability to better explain things to a jury, which should allay the fears experts now have.